Good day everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. On this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix in case if you get an error message saying that we couldn't complete the updates, undoing changes, don't turn off your computer uh, while installing the updates. So you would see a blue screen. Now there are a couple of uh, fixes uh, which you can try to get this issue resolved. Now as a first uh, fix, what I would suggest you to do is I would go ahead and uh, suggest you to check if all the services related to Windows updates are running on your computer. To do that, uh, you will have to click on search button at the bottom left corner of your screen. Type services. As a first best match, uh, click on this services. And this will open up all the services which are running on the computer. Now the first thing is what you will have to do is you will have to look for Windows update under this list which you will find it right here and make sure that service is running. If you look at the status, it is running. In case if it is not running, all you have to do is you will have to double click on it and um, click on, in case if it is uh, stop, you will have to click on start and also set this to automatic. Uh, click on stop, set the startup type to automatic, click on start click on apply and then click on ok and make sure it has been running and it has been set to automatic once this is done the next thing what you will have to go ahead and check is uh, you will have to go ahead and check if the windows installer is also running so you would find windows installer services right under this section so all you have to do is you will have to do a right click click on properties and click on start and um, make sure it has been running Click on apply and then click on ok. Once uh, it is done, you can close this window. Yeah, The next thing what you will have to do is you will have to make sure your uh, windows time uh, is synchronized with the server time. To do that, you can click on the start button and click on settings. Once you are on the settings page, on the left hand side, click on time and language. And then click on date and time under this section. Uh, go to additional clocks under additional clocks go to internet time go to change settings and make sure uh, you have time.windows.com and click on update now click on ok then click on apply and ok at the same time you can also check the box which uh, select the option which says sync now now what this will do is it will synchronize your windows time with the server time.windows.com close this window restart the computer and uh, try to install the updates by going to windows button settings go to windows update under this section click on check for the updates and see if there are any available updates on the computer now in case if you are able to install the updates uh, well and good you don't have to try the next step now in case if you are not able to install the updates and if you're still seeing the same error message uh, as a next step, uh, what I would suggest you to do is, I would suggest you to open command prompt in the elevated mode. Uh, so go to search and type command prompt. Click on run as administrator. In case if you get user access control prompt, you may click on yes or continue on the screen. Now here you will have to go ahead and run a three different diagnostic tool uh, using these command uh, which I will put this command in the video description. You can copy those command and paste it um, under this by doing a right click and paste it. Now uh, let me walk you through the command which you need to type. So the command is uh, you need to type D D I S M dot exe forward space forward slash online space forward slash clean image or clean up dash image space forward slash scan health and hit enter now what this will do is this will go ahead and uh, deploy the image servicing and management tool 
uh, on your computer and check if there are uh, check for the health of your computer so this will take about uh, 5 to 10 minutes depending on the uh, speed and the amount of data what you have on the computer so you will have to wait until um, the whole process is complete you will see the percentage uh, increasing 200 percent uh, once it is complete so let's uh, give a while so as soon as the scan health is completed you would see a message saying that no component store corruption is detected uh, in case if there is any problem you would see this error message as soon as uh, this is done you will have to run the next command for uh, check health to do that uh, you can copy and paste the command from the video description the com yeah the next command what you will have to go ahead and type is uh, th is for the scan health you can copy and paste the command from the video description so hit enter and uh, as soon as uh, this is done uh, you will see a message uh, as soon as the uh, scan health has been complete. So let's wait for a while. It would take about uh, 5 to 10 minutes to complete the whole process. The scan health is completed. Uh, you would see the uh, message saying that it is 100% and no component store corruption has been detected and the operation is completed successfully. Once this is done, you will have to run another diagnostic tool to restore the health. So you can copy, the paste, copy and paste the command. You can do a right click click on edit and paste the command um, using the control V option as soon as you have this command and hit enter and uh, once this is done um, you would see a message uh, saying that the, uh, the same message what you have seen in the past saying that the uh, restoration of uh, is completed with the status uh, to 100% uh, so we will wait until this the restored health process is completed once this is done we will uh, go ahead and restart the computer and then try to uh, check for the updates so as soon as you have completed all these command you can go ahead and try to inst uh, restart the computer um, once you restart the computer click on the start button go to settings uh, under settings go to windows update check for the updates and try to install all the possible available updates and uh, you should be able to uh, install all the available updates on your computer so i hope this video was useful in case if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you have a great day